Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and welcome back to another art journal layout. I have some new toys today and I will play with them. These are the new gloss sprays by Dina Weekly. They have lovely colors and I will be using many of them today. And I will first show you how they work and the wonderful results that you get. These are unlike any other sprays that I have on my studio. These are acrylic sprays. Give them a good shake before you try them out and let's take a look on what you can do with them. Before I go ahead and start working on my page, I will try all the sprays on some tags so that I can see how they work, get used to the medium before I go ahead and start working. This way you will be able to see the wonderful results that you get. So first of all, I'm going with the yellow one. The color is called lemon and I'm going to mix it up with magenta. I haven't sped up the video, you can see that in real time. And uh, as you can see, it creates those cells since one paint resists the other. Acrylic paint is actually plastic, so once the paper gets saturated, then it resists the second layer. I'm going to use my heat gun to make sure that everything is nice and dry. You can, of course, leave it to dry on its own, but I'm too impatient to wait for that. By the way, I'm working on a silicone mat by Ranger. This is a new product for me and I just wanted to give it a try. It's really easy to clean it up. You can fold it and take it away with you. And uh, it is heat resistant as you can see. And look how my background is looking. I just sprayed a couple of colors and I got this wonderful design. Also notice that as the colors dry, they become vibrant, which is uh, something really interesting and I absolutely love that. Usually colors become more dull as they dry, but this is not the case with these sprays. Another property of these sprays is that they are permanent since they are acrylic paints. So it's nothing like uh, the dilution sprays or the ones by Tim Holtz. These are permanent, which means that no matter what I do on top of them, they are not going to react with the medium. So for example, I can apply some gesso or white paint. This is not going to blend out with whatever is underneath and it's going to stay nice and white. It is also really easy to write on top of it with your uh, markers or your gel pens. Here I'm just using a stencil again and I'm going with my gel marker to add some uh, details here and there. My marker glides on top of it, it writes beautifully, plus it's not going to blend with the colors underneath. If I was going to do this technique over uh, my Distress Oxide inks, for example, the white would blend in with the ink underneath and it would end up in a different color. This is going to stay nice and bright and super white as it is at the moment. Now I'm going to show you a technique that I saw Dina Weekly doing while I was in Creativation the last uh, January. I'm using one of those chipboard shapes. These are from her uh, chipboard shapes which are called Flying. And uh, I'm placing the bird on top of a tag. I'm going to spray over with uh, again the two colors that I used for the previous tag. So that's Lemon and uh, Magenta. And I'm making sure that I cover up both the bird as well as the tag underneath. You can see the beautiful cells that it creates. I absolutely love this look. I'm going to remove the bird, put it aside to dry. Now here are my pieces that are completely dry and notice how vibrant the colors look now. Also remember these are gloss sprays which means that they are glossy once they dry that give a lovely look on your projects. Now I'm going to go uh, quite brave here and I will spray over it with a couple of colors in blue shade. So I'm using here ocean and the darker color is marine. Now remember the first layer is completely dry which means that it is not going to resist the second layer of color. So I'm going to dab it with a paper towel or a cloth like I'm doing here and you can see the wonderful result. So I got my bird to be blue and it resisted the rest of the colors. So basically I was playing with my new sprays trying to see all the new properties and I ended up having this lovely bird, a chipboard shape as well as a couple of tags. So I'm going to turn all these elements into 
art journal pages, let's take a look at the first page that I made using the bird. And you see that I'm going to recreate that and create one more bird, which looks uh, similar, again with the same colors, lemon and magenta. And tomorrow I'm going to post another video where I will be using the tags to create another art journal. Now, when it comes to sprays, I got in, a, in the habit of uh, cleaning up the nozzle before I put the cap back on. I find that doing that with my mica sprays, my glitter sprays and such are very helpful. So I will be continuing doing that for my acrylic paints as well. Now I'm going to make sure that my birds are completely dry. And I'm going to bring in my new Blue Art Journal, which is a new product by Dina Weekly and Ranger. Now, I never had one of her journals with all those different uh, textures to work on, and I'm absolutely in love with it. I love the challenge of working on different surfaces. So first of all, you get white pages. This is heavyweight cotton paper. It's really thick. It has some texture on it. And I did uh, a close-up look here. Probably you can see the texture. And I will be working on one of those white pages for today. And then you get this one, which is burlap. I love the color of that and the challenge of trying to think what to do on it. And finally, you get a page which is denim. And the art journal that I will be posting tomorrow was made on one of those denim pages. So for today I will be working on the white one and I need to somehow cover up the denim page so I don't mess it up completely with my sprays. That's why I'm going to bring in my silicone mat. This is great for covering up next pages just because it is flexible. This way you use up something that you can use again and again. All you have to do is clean it up and you don't use paper or paper towels that you throw away. So now I'm going to use three sprays white, turquoise and ocean and I'm going to create kind of a sky looking thing on my background. I'm going to start with white just because I don't want this to be oversaturated with blue color. And since I tested all those products previously on my tags, I know that the first layer is going to resist the second layer. This way I will have highlights on my background and it's not going to be blue all over the place. So all I'm doing is mixing up the color directly on the page. Before the spray is dry, you can move them with a brush like I'm doing here. I am incapable of leaving white space on my art journals. I have to have color all over the place. That's why I have to do that. But I absolutely love the variation on my background with the highlights and the darker areas. So I'm going to leave this to dry. And then I can go on top and add some extra layers to make it look more interesting. So I have this dot stencil, this is by Ranger again, and I'm going to apply white paint. Actually, this is gesso, by the way. It's going to stay nice and white, since it's not going to react with uh, all that paint that I have underneath. And when you get a new medium, it's always nice to do that. It's always nice to try and test out what you have, so you know the exact properties and how you can work with it. And I know that you like watching me creating all those different layers, so I'm not going to edit anything out. So as I'm doing that, I'm going to talk a little bit about that uh, white and red bracelet that I'm wearing. This is actually a Greek tradition from March 1st and the, for the whole month we wear those bracelets. This is called a March bracelet. It is made out of twisted white and red thread. The white symbolizes purity and the red color stands for life and passion. Now, 1st of March also indicates the beginning of spring in Greece. So a March bracelet is known to protect you from the burning sun. Now, we remove this bracelet on the last day of the month and then we hang it on a branch on a tree so that the swallows that are returning for spring can take those uh, bracelets and build their nests. It is a lovely tradition. And if you have something similar in your country, let me know in the comments below. I would absolutely love to know. So now back to the page and all I did was adding all those white circles through the stencil with my gesso. Then I added some white splashes and now I'm using again the same stencil and I'm stamping uh, with uh, archival ink over the stencil so that I end up having text only on the white dots. I think that's a fun look. 
Now for this page, my focal points are going to be those two chipboard birds that I created earlier and I'm going to do some stamping there as well, so they have some elements matching with my background. Now I have one of those collage collectives by Dina Weekly. It's full of her art. They come in both uh, thick cardstock as well as thin paper. You can use them as they are, but I like to cut out elements from uh, here and there and make them somehow my own. So that's why I will choose one of the papers here and I'm going to cut it out in thin strips so that I can use them to add some color on my page as if it is washi tape. For that I'm not going to use my paper trimmer, I'm just using my scissors and I like if the shape is kind of wonky. Now I'm going to um, stick down some of those strips on my page. For that I'm using my matte medium just to make sure that they are nicely stuck there. I am uh, tearing with my fingers the ends just to make them uh, look um, more organic. I don't want to have anything uh, super neat on my page. And after sticking all those little strips of paper and color on my page, I'm going to stick down the birds. Now for the birds I'm using a um, generous amount of matte medium at the back to make sure that they are going to be nicely stuck there and they are not going to fall on me. I absolutely love the vibrant colors on those birds. Then I'm going to use my scissors to chop off anything that sticks out of the page. And on my journals, I always like to have a motivational quote. I usually call my art journals quote journals. And um, this is the case with this page as well. So this time I'm going with a quote that says, Your wings already exist. All you have to do is fly. I want to have the word fly big, bold and to make a statement on my page. That's why I will use black color and go over this alphabet stencil to spell the word fly. I'm using black gesso here, but of course you can use black acrylic paint, you can use a spray if you like, or even a black marker. Now, as you can see when I remove the stencil, nothing is perfect, and I am good with that since this is an art journal and nothing else is looking perfect on this page. So I'm going to do the Y, and then for the rest of the sentiment I went to my printer and just print it out in a nice big font so that I can cut it into thin strips and stick it down. And once everything is down, it's time to do some doodling. I'm just sketching uh, black lines or white lines with my white and black uh, thin pens. For that to do, make sure that everything is completely dry, you don't have any matte medium still wet, otherwise you are going to ruin your markers and your gel pens. So I'm adding some white lines around my letters and that's why I'm using my stencil once again. I'm also going to use my thin black marker to add some sketchy lines around my sentiment. And this is going to finish off my page for today. Just like always you will find the list down below with links to all the products I used in various online shops. I hope that you had fun and that you got inspired as I was playing with a new collection by Dina Weekly. Here are some close-up photos where you can see more details of the page that I made for today. Don't forget tomorrow I will post one more art journal that I made on the same day using the tags that we created in the beginning of this video. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.